Writing compelling content is not an easy task, especially when you don't know how to structure this content to rank on search engines. Well, there's a tool that I'm going to show you that's called Strel. It's going to help us audit content, write content, and find easy keywords to rank this content all within this tool. So let me show you how to do it right now. What's up, SaaS Masters? We're going to check out Strel, and if you want to check it out for yourself, link will be provided in the description. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use it so you can start using it right away. So let's go jump over to my dashboard. And Strail divides this in three main tools. One is the audit tool, the other one is the content editor, and the third one is the keyword ranker system. Now, we're going to start off with the audit tool, and that means that you can audit web pages that have content already. It could be your pages or competitor pages, okay? Now, in this case, I am going to grab this page, which is, is about specialty coffee. And I'm going to grab it to see how well it is written so I can rank on search engines. So all I have to do is grab my link, jump over to my audit, paste my URL here, and I'm going to add the keyword that I want to focus on. And in this case, I'm going to say specialty coffee. Okay. And in this case, I want to do this for the United States, but you can select the country that you want. The language obviously is in English right now, but you can select the language that you are, your content is about. Okay. The crawler type in this case, I want to focus on desktop, not mobile. NLP always on, which is going to help us with natural language processing, which is going to be much better results. Okay, so let's go ahead and create this audit. There we go. It's doing its magic by already added this content. So we're going to open this one up. Let's go ahead and view the report. And here we go. Right now it's ranking 43 points out of 100. So it's not doing as well as one might think. Okay, so we're going to use the tool to improve that content. So based on this, it's the audit for that particular page. So we have some tools above here. First of all, we can refresh this, especially if we made changes on that page. We can select competitors so we can get the score based on the competitors. So maybe we might want to enable or disable these. So maybe it got something wrong or maybe you do want it to, for example, take into consideration Wikipedia. So we're going to enable this and we're going to apply it. So we want to consider that in the score. OK, we're still at 43, but it helps us remove and add competitors. We can mark as done if we made some changes, export all data, share report. And we got the quick fixes that are like the main things that you need to focus on right now. So no main keyword in H1. So that's a must. H1 tag use zero and title tag use. So we're good with that. OK, so we do have specialty coffee in the main keyword title and in the title tag used. OK, so we're good there. And we got the quick fixes to do. OK, next we have the structure. How is this structured? So it's going to tell us by elements, number of keywords in the body. We're good to go. No action required for any of these. And then we have the exact keywords. OK, we do need to add, for example, at least one in the H1, one to 52 keywords for the exact keyword in the body. So it needs to be mentioned more to improve that score and obviously help us rank better on search engines. No action for these. And then we got some actions for the H3, H4, H6 and keywords in strong be bold. OK, so we need to improve all of this. And we're going to go through all this audit to obviously improve that page. OK, that's for the structure. Then we have the keywords. OK, based on keywords, how many times have it been mentioned? So no action is required here. It's been mentioned at least one. And then we have other keywords that are interesting based on the competitors that we should try to mention them in the piece of content. OK, so it's going to help us with the keywords, how we should mention them. You got main content keywords. You got all top three. I would focus on top three, three. You got titles, headings and NLP based keywords. OK, then you have your brief Okay, in the brief. People also ask, so what is considered a specialty copy? So th these are things that are being asked and we should probably consider that in the content and check that out. OK, basically, that is the audit report part and it's going to help us find those key issues that that our content has that needs to be improved to at least get a 90 percent to 100 percent in the audit report score. OK, so that's for the audit part. Let's go to the next tool, which is content editor. Now, this is where the actual processing becomes much more appealing, relevant and easy for us to obviously edit because we could be making changes and then going back to the audit report. But in this case is where we're going to actually add the piece of content and it's going to analyze it for us. So again, we're going to take into consideration this one. Let's go ahead and copy this. Let's copy that. Let's go back into content brief. And again, we're going to add the keyword editor. So we're going to say Again, specialty coffee. Here we go. And again, we're country language device desktop. We'll keep NLP. Let's create the content editor. OK, it's ready. Let's start working on this piece of content and we're going to add our information here. 
there we go and we're going to add our title and enter the meta description we're going to use the same as the title for this okay so there we go right now we're getting a score of 38 out of 100 and on the right we have all the details of what we need to work on to improve this content so like i said it's much easier to work here than using the audit report now the audit report is to give us obviously the report of what's going on and what we should do but in this case is where we're going to actually work on the content we have the structure information for the number of keywords that are based here and we can edit this okay we, we can stick with what strel is providing us as the optimal performance to obviously improve our score or we can change it by clicking on this gear icon so if you have different parameters where you think you know what the content should be at least 2000 to 5000 okay let's go ahead and apply it and now you can see that we're on yellow so it's not green because we're not in the optimal score that we're trying to reach okay and then we have paragraph title h2 for example in this piece of content there's no h2 no h3 uh, there's a lot to improve in here it's practically a plain text so there's a lot of room for improvement in this made a description none in this case we haven't added it here we did add it let's go ahead and paste it again okay there's a meta description we go the score went a little bit up here number of elements and that's for the structure okay we need to work on this content to improve it so as we begin improving this it's going to be raising the score if we're doing the right things okay next we have keywords keywords that need to be mentioned in the main content we have suggestions here from a, some of them are not even mentioned so we might want to mention those here we got the brief okay here we go for the keywords the h3 brief people also ask related searches top competitor titles and it's going to give us a brief of what we can improve over there and then we have the outline in the outline we can go ahead and explore competitors so in this case what are competitors doing so cert position number one which is this page which is doing really well obviously because they're ranking number one and we need to take into consideration what they are doing so we can improve that on our page on our piece of content okay competitor number two we got these three four etc and it's going to give us the outline for the competitors so we can improve that in our page okay so if i want to add that i can go ahead and do so go ahead and save it there we go and we can start working on these okay i can change these three i can edit and delete it for the outline so really helpful tool now you have all the tools that you can work with right here if you want to change the h1 h2 a3 to improve the score here and once you're good to go we are good to export this okay so we can import content from a url we can change competitors we can mark as completed share content editor export data or export as a doc so you can pass that over to your website so it's a pretty easy tool to work with once you have all the data that you need so that's what Strel is about. It's going to help us what we need to improve to rank on search engine. Okay. Now for the last tool, which is the keyword ranker, this is super easy to use and it's going to help us identify keywords that we can rank. that are going to be easy instead of trying to compete for the easy keywords that everyone's using. Well, it's going to find those extra keywords that are not so common, but we can rank in those. Okay. So what we have to do is write the keyword here, select the country, a language, you can use the default settings or edit these and go ahead and find keywords. In this case, I already tried some of them here and I'm going to use this one, the golf simulator, which has a lot of easy keywords to rank in. So you get an idea of how it works. There's a list of keywords that are available that we can probably rank in. So if you find something here that looks interesting, like a golf simulator app, well, there's, there's not a lot of search volume, but we can use this to rank. Okay. So you got your volume to rank. You got your score. You got your SERP analysis on the right. The cost per click and the LDA, which is the lowest DA in the top 10 SERP results. Okay, so we can use this information to rank. Now they have a lot of filters that, that we can use for this to filter this out to find what we actually need. So if I want to check this out, for example, I can use suggestions, questions based on questions. So for example, if I want to rank for keywords that are based on questions on PAA, which is people also ask. So again, we can use this. We can use hidden none right now related searches so not the same but kind of similar so they're related competition clusters and the settings for this okay so you have all of that and on the left we have some filters for da if you want to filter these with top da rank or non-ranking ones for topics so if obviously it's about a simulator probably is more simulation than golf you can use this as a keyword to check out the intent you can use this status volume cost per click weak spots forum serp score include or exclude 
all that. And we can analyze keywords here. So once you start your first search, you can go ahead and start analyzing. You can hide if they are not relevant. So if you think, you know what, it has nothing to do. I don't even want to see it here. You can go ahead and hide them. You can share the report, export all as Excel or add to a list, all with this keyword finder. So these three tools are available in Strel. So if you want to check it out, like I said, a link we provided in the description so you can start ranking your content on Search Engine. And that's a wrap for Strel.